the Goons podcast. I'll hyphen. I'll I'll heifer. I'll puffer. I'll stiffen. I'll big puffer. Big puffer. Lurg my snoobel. What are you you doing? (laughs) What's the the roll call or something? It's not a bit. (laughs) We don't even have big puffer. (laughs) Puffer's not here. Why would I do roll call? God, you're so stupid. Trying to mark him absent. Little bitch. It's teacher. so stupid, there, boy. Did you guys say here or present or president? I said here. I would Who say said fuck you and start shooting the school up. And then wiped your ass on the side of it. <laughs> way to start the first minute strong. Hey, nasty. hey, podcast time. <laughs> practicing to be. A, a, you deep throating a horse? No, I'm practicing to be an elite from Halo. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Oh, means. yeah? Is that how they do that? Yeah. <laughs> That's when one has IBS. You know, you're really farty today. <laughs> yeah. You have been quite farty today. You've been farty since you were born, so you have no right to talk there, bitch. <clears throat> Are you okay, babe? You've barely touched your fart tonight. I bet you came out of your mom's pussy and just ripped I a big one. I was the one. first queef. You I would was be right a human about queef. Yeah. And then as you got older, you started caming in. Caming? Caming. 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 <laughs> you might be fucking retarded. Yeah, I am. <laughs> might? No, you are definitely fucking retarded. Gigaton. Um, how did you guys sleep last night? <laughs> uh, slept okay. Uh, not great? Uh, uh mediocre. Yeah. Average at best, I would Mediocre? Say. When was the last time you guys had, like, a really good sleep? Uh, About a day week after ago. I got home from Boston was, was really nice. I slept, like, oh, all yeah. hours. Oh, yeah. There's like, nothing... First time back in your bed sleeps are so good. Yeah. Yeah, I like didn't sleep the night before. Cause I, really? I got too drunk and I had like a I don't know, Smitty made us go to the airport way too early on accident because we're both <laughs> stupid. He's already um, like we, a parent. We, <laughs> yeah, we did like a we did like a white people move where they show up to the airport like nine hours before their flight. It wasn't actually that long. <laughs> but yeah. like we got up at like seven and our flight uh. was at like one. Cause, Cause, we wanted to make sure we got all our shit, and it was just not fun. I felt like boo boo ass that whole day, so I just slept like crazy the next night. I would not get drunk the night before I'd have to fly. Oh, I got fucking molly whopped. I was yeah, fine. I would not do that. I was fighting demons in the morning. <clears throat> um, yeah, it was a, it was a huge mistake, but you know, it's all right. It's you fine. know what I hate? I, I don't know if you've ever, ever experienced it because you've been you know further around the country than I've been. Um. But I, I've never been to a hotel with a comfortable bed. Really? Yeah. Wow. Every I, single hotel, hotel I go, like, beds are hard as fuck. The pillows are super soft, which is, like, the opposite of what I want. Yeah, the pillows are always way too soft in and hotels. And they're huge. Like, they're way like too soft. Really tall. Yeah. Like, you, when you're laying on the pillow and the weight of your head, there, there's nothing between your head and the mattress. Like I think my dog's barking you. in the backyard. <laughs> yeah. Is your uh, is your dog all right? Is it getting dragged what? by his hind legs out of his? I think she's outside van. barking at the uh, barking at the gardener. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm gonna go out there uh, real quick. No, I'll I, be right I back. I like I like I like hotel beds. I mean, the one I had. My problem is is the fucking pillows because I like I got two pillows with with my bed. One was like giga fucking thick, like it felt like my neck was just a ninety degree angle from my torso. Nice, like it was too thick. Or the other one was like way too thin, so I was just not winning that battle. So, have you but guys seen the ads enough, for the pillow fine. cubes? Yeah, the, pi- the pillow. There cubes? There ain't no way that's what comfortable, bro. I don't know. I just I see it on YouTube sometimes. It's like a pillow that's shaped like a Minecraft block. Yeah. What's the point of that? Why that doesn't sound comfortable at all? There's some kind of they say something in the ad that it's supposed to like help your spine alignment or some bullshit like they all do. It's all about your spine when you sleep. You got to keep that spine aligned. Thanks, but I don't, I don't realize how a massive <laughs> fucking box pillow would help yeah, with that. that. It seems like, like it would be the opposite. It's like the least Literally, thing you could ever It's like it would jack in. your shit all up. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I actually own one of those pillows. Of course you do. Of course you do. <laughs> um, and they work really well. What? You want, you want your foam? head... Yeah, it's like a really dense memory foam. Okay. Because you want... It's uncomfortable. You want your head to be... Um, how do I want my head? Like, you want a perfect 90 degree angle of your shoulder and your neck and your head. Mm. You don't want your head to dangle down or go too up. So you need a cube pillow to do that? Yeah, why not just like a firm, well, you regular can, pillow? You, you can stack other pillows, but I don't know. I don't use it all the time. 
They should sell a okay, dirt Okay, well, then it can't block. be that good if you're, like, not using it every well, day. Well, I'm the kind of person like... that likes to switch pillows up because I feel like whenever I switch, like, if I get, my head gets used to a pillow and I switch to another pillow, it makes me sleep better. I want to fuck the my pillow guy. He is pretty hot. Actually, I want him to fuck me. There was some kind of controversy with that guy, wasn't there? He was like, I know, I'm like, a Trump he said that about everybody. <laughs> I don't think he was anything crazy. I think he was just like a Trump oh, fan. No one is safe yeah. from McNasty. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Well, I just uh, remember hearing some shit about him, but yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he did anything like detrimental, <clears throat> but I could be wrong. I, I'd be talking about how my neighbor like got his paper this morning. Yeah, I heard there's he like fucked a kid, right? Yeah, there's some. <laughs> I did not say that. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I heard controversy. That's it. Yeah, yeah, bitch. I think he's just a conservative person. It's like John Tron. Yeah. John Tron. There, like well, he had his shit, and I just think about that. It's like, oh yeah, John Tron so has something going on. you everyone to John Tron. <laughs> everyone is John Tron. That is no, compare I'm, Obama well, John Tron, Tron was on the infallible daily. logic. He was in the same position. All he was was just, he was just Republican, and that's been, people didn't like him for that. Well, that's not very, well, never mind. I won't say anything about that. Never mind. I don't want to talk about politics. Conversation. You, you fucking fuck my ass. Fuck my ass. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that what you say when you're nervous? <laughs> fuck my ass. I like how you like just I'm, turn I'm like. for a mortgage and just, just fuck my ass. Just fuck my goddamn ass right now. <laughs> <laughs> fuck my little tight white ass. Tight white ass. Fucking it. I just said, I just said non flashbacks <laughs> in the comments section, so. Oh, it sounds like you're having Detroit flashbacks because I don't think Vietnamese people talk like that. <laughs> What? Is, what? Are, what are we talking about? Um, my neighbor. <laughs> my neighbor. My neighbor. <laughs> my motherfucking am, neighbor. I am frightened and confused in everything else that could be bad. And Tell us about Pax already, you sunshine. fuck. Okay, yeah, Pax was fun. That's wait, where wait, it was on. last week. Wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. I'm actually so glad I was interrupted for that. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. That was a solid five seconds uh, long. Pax, Pax was great. That's that's where I was last week. Um, I know everyone's angry that apparently I just don't show up to the podcast. So you know, that's where I was. I was doing something. I know people Schlatt. always say something. You hate Schlatt. I do hate Schlatt. Uh, that that is unrelated. I just hate Schlatt. Blog hate guests about in Schlatt. general. Pissing me off. One of the first YouTubers I ever met, hate him, piece of shit. Welcome. Um, well, the thing is, is like whenever you're oh. gone, like we don't want to do it just us three because the podcast is always AIDS. So that's when we usually end up finding a guest. Uh, AIDS to you, buddy. That's I would find me. Uh, I don't know. Blarg even said something about our last podcast where it was just us three. He was like, you, you guys need to find a guest because that was terrible. Thank you for speaking on my behalf when I didn't say that at all. <laughs> I'm <laughs> pretty sure said, you said that. Hey, man, this was terrible. Get a guest. I'm pretty no, sure you I said. Just, I, I'm pretty I, sure you said, said that said, on the next it was podcast. The Elden Ring one. All I said on the the Elden Ring oh, one oh, was yeah. like, "Y'all talk about Elden Ring way too fucking long." All I said. Oh, didn't say I remember. Shit. I specifically remember you saying you should find a, a guest. No, you should just use your brain and have conversation. There's three people. Uh, yeah, we well, I mean, we've done podcasts with three people. Many times, Elder yeah, is we, fresh. we actually we started this without Blarg. Yeah, I literally <laughs> yeah. wasn't even a, a yeah, member. True. Yeah, McNasty. <laughs> well, that was that's the thing. Was, when you start a podcast, you have a you have a trillion things to talk about. Yeah, Being we got 79. one to talk about right now. Blarg, how the fuck was Pax? <laughs> yeah, how was Pax? Go ahead. I'll shut up. No, I don't even want to anymore. No, uh, it was fun. I I love Boston. Um, I don't know. It's super cool. Fucking hanging out with YouTubers and shit because. I don't know. I always like that shit. It's so weird seeing YouTubers that you, like you just know from the internet, and then actually hanging out with them in person and seeing how different they are. Like just putting a face to them and everything. Did they you say meet? And shit. Did you meet people for the first time on this one that you've never met uh, before? Not a ton. There was actually mostly just our group that like went, but we were we were rolling fucking deep. There was like twenty of us probably. God damn, boy. Because uh, we always <laughs> I used to I always go with like Wildcat, Big Jiggly, Four Zero Seven, Smitty. Um, like yeah. that's the group I usually go with and then like Chrissy and Kelly and a uh, bunch of them But um, we had like Grizzy, Droid, Pezzy, uh, Toxie was with us for a little bit Puffer. Have you met all those guys before? Uh, yeah, but not like spent a ton of time around all of them Like uh -huh. other than when we were in Toronto But uh, they all stayed somewhere else so it was, Oh, like, that's right, yeah I wasn't with them a shit ton um, But yeah, I don't know, it's always just fun as fucking out with youtubers and stuff like that and being obnoxious as shit in public because everybody like thinks they're in a recording session irl so everybody just fucking rowdy all the time which is fun <laughs> for like a week and then i want to yeah, kill myself by tired, the end of the week yeah. but yeah it is 
that's exhausting. But uh, we did like a little meetup. We just did like super impromptu. Uh, tweeted it the night before and stuff. And that was actually yeah, fucking saw. crazy. There was like hundreds and hundreds of people that came. Damn. Really? Um, which was really fucking cool. Uh, I don't know. Hanging out with fans and like meeting them is definitely one of the coolest things as a YouTuber. And you guys should show your faces so you can do that. I always thought about that. Like, um, it's like we, we have videos and like three, sometimes four, five hundred thousand people watch them. And you don't yeah. really think about how big of a number that is. Yeah. But I feel like being in a situation where there's like a hundred people, like fans around you. I feel like that would be so much more like, like I guess eye opening. Yeah, I mean, it's like well, that's the thing is like that was only a few hundred people. That, I want to say only that was only like a few hundred people that that showed up, and yeah. that was like crazy. Like, so Wildcat fucked us. He tweeted that the meetup was starting when we weren't even remotely ready yet, and he wasn't even there. He was like twenty minutes out. Uh, so when me, Grizzy, Puffer, um. <clears throat> droid and pezzy walked out of the building there was just this fucking massive crowd waiting really? and we're like bro we cannot do a fucking meet up here like people are trying to leave the convention so yeah. i had to like i had to, to be like i felt like i was a, a teacher on like a school trip i had to <laughs> tell everybody <laughs> where to go i had to like chauffeur. scream at them to fucking walk out of the exit because they're blocking people from getting out i had to lead this big trail of bumbling retards away from the back entrance <laughs> and uh and yeah we we went to some open space and it was fine but uh speaking of field trips we were at the we were at the fucking um aquarium and an we aquarium finished there? up yeah there's an aquarium in boston huh. uh we finished up whatever and we just went to go hang out on this dock and as we were walking by like there's a look when a, when a fan recognizes you, there's this this look that you can mm -hmm. immediately recognize. Staring into your so, soul. Yeah, sometimes, or like, you'll just see them like, mouth open a little bit. They'll like, tap their friend and shit. We walk by and this girl just starts tapping her friend like, a million miles an hour. And we're like, alright, she definitely recognizes us, but whatever. So we just go hang out on this dock. They didn't, she didn't say anything at that point. And then, after like, five minutes, this entire fucking school field trip is walking over to us like teachers and everything and they recognized us and we're like they all wanted pictures and shit and signatures and we're just like all right we're not gonna sit here for two hours doing this entire field trip one by one pictures so everybody <laughs> just take one big one and fuck off and like i asked them if they all knew who we were and they all said yes but I guarantee, like, half of them had absolutely no oh, clue who the fuck they just got a picture with. For sure. You should have been so like, well, fun. who the fuck am I then, huh? Little twerp? <laughs> little bitch? <laughs> well, one girl, like... We, what we, happened we, to 347 in our last video, huh? Little bitch? <laughs> when we were leaving, they, like, were all still in, like, a line, like, single file line. And Droid, for some reason, decided it would be a good idea to, like, just say, like, good game. And just, like, tapping them all in the fucking... Giving them all high fives and shit. And some little girl was, like, filming... And she's like, I don't know who you guys are. Are you famous? And she's like <laughs> shoving the camera in our face as we walk by. It's just like, God, that is mm. awful. But the worst one, we were at the actual convention, which is kind of a mistake to go to. You literally can't even walk because like you put a million nerds that all watch YouTube in one building. They're bound to recognize us every 10 seconds. So. Oh, it's got a reek uh, in there. Actually, it wasn't that bad this year. <laughs> Probably because there was a mask mandate in there. So you couldn't really like oh, fuck. smell the B.O., um, which was good. That was actually, we should keep the mask mandate there, but like not COVID related whatsoever. Just, just like odor. straight up Only for BO attacks. reasons. <laughs> odor reasons. Like just keep that shit forever. Um, but, uh, there is, we were just getting like swarmed and I was like, all right, I gotta, I need to like get away from this a little bit. It's a little overwhelming. So I was like, I'm just going to go pee. Surely I should be fine in the bathroom. And I was peeing. Uh, it's like shit pee. in BO. Uh, no, it wasn't actually that bad in there. But this dude, <laughs> this dude know it's bad when the bathroom smells better than the actual like area. The dude comes up to me, like or comes up while I'm peeing, comes up to the urinal next to me, no big deal. I see him look over at me, and I was like, okay, I don't know if this guy recognized me or he's just looking at me while he pees for some reason, whatever. And then as I like zip up my fly, I'm walking away, and all I hear is a very quiet my friend, 
<laughs> I turn around and he's just looking him back, still pissing. I just fucking shook my head and walked away. It's like, bruh, no way this guy just sensually oh my whispered my, my friend, friend to me while he has his fucking cock in his hand. <laughs> like he said, I, I love that for you. I'm glad that, that happened. I was like, I was just done. I just, I had to leave the convention. I had enough of that. It was so fucking stupid. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that was. Uh, I'm glad he wasn't like super fucking weird. I mean, I don't know. He might have checked out my wiener for some reason. I would have, but you know, yeah. aside, from, yeah, that, would've too, yeah, aside really. from that, we're all right. Uh, Did you have any no, weird like, interactions? Trippy told me that, that was that. Uh, uh, he had you had something to tell me about a weird interaction that happened or something. Oh, that like was that. No, that was definitely the P one because I saw Trippy uh. right after that, and I like walked <laughs> out of the building, and he's like, "What's the matter?" I was like, "Brother, <laughs> it's, I can't even pee out here, G." <laughs> but, uh, dude, I didn't even, so, fucking Trippy, I had no idea what Trippy looked like. I didn't know he did any sort of face reveal at all, and Yeah, he does reaction walking. stuff with Soup. Yeah, time. I didn't even, I didn't even fucking uh, know. No, he but, hasn't shown his face. No, to my okay, knowledge, well then, publicly. now I feel better about it. I see, I've uh, seen his face in the thumbnail of his, one of his recent reaction videos. Are you videos. thinking of Ethan, or, oh, no. maybe, I don't know. Black-haired guy. Your name is black he, hair, right? Nope. Uh, you talk. You're talking about two different people. We're, you're talking about Tranium. I'm talking about Trippy. Oh yeah, I'm getting the two mixed up. My bad. You a dumbass. Yeah. Ass, okay. Boy. I was gonna say. <clears throat> I was gonna say. Unless I'm a fucking retard, I do not remember any black hair on Trippy. But uh, so I had no idea what Trippy looked like. And this fucking dude walks up to me. He's like, "Hey, bro. My friend couldn't make it. Uh, he's on Facetime right now. Can you say hi?" I was like, "Yeah, for sure." I just grabbed the phone, and it was just fucking soup. I was like, wait, what? He's like, bro, it's me, I'm trippy. I was like, oh shit! It's so funny, though. We just trolled seeing, you. Just seeing soup driving his fucking truck around. I was like, oh, all right, that, that's fine. But, uh, yeah, he was know. like texting me like, dude, I'm going to FaceTime. You're going to answer like right now, now, like right now. I was like, all right, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I, didn't, I did not know... What the fuck that was? I was so confused at first. It's like <laughs> either this guy just randomly like found soup on Twitter and asked him to FaceTime, said yes, or this is somebody I know, and then he's like, Yeah, it's trippy. It's like, oh okay, cool. That's that's reassuring that soup's just not giving out his fucking number for FaceTime. Just randomly FaceTiming people. <laughs> uh but yeah, Boston was uh Boston was fun. I didn't have any super like crazy weird fan interactions. Uh I witnessed a bunch of crackhead fights. Ooh. We didn't we didn't get to monetize <sighs> nice. any of them this year. Uh, last Damn. time, Wildcat put a raid ad over a hobo fight. He was, <laughs> like we were watching it, we were watching him like throw down. And Tyler's like, "Yeah, this 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 hobo fight is sponsored by Raid," and actually had a raid ad on the video <laughs> during the hobo fight. <laughs> that's that's fucking awesome. You should start taking was, bets. <laughs> what, yeah, that's like against the uh, that's against TOS right now, right? Isn't it? What hobo fights? No. Yeah. What an what an odd thing to be specifically. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I remember. So, if they uh, have a home, they can fight. If they are homeless, nah. <laughs> Don't you dare put yeah, that shit on YouTube. That's the part of TOS. That's <laughs> against the rules. No, but no, I remember people, uh, people put fights up like uh, backyard uh, street beefs. Street yeah, beefs yeah. Do you? Yeah. Well, I, I remember I used to watch bum fights a while back. Remember that? What does that mean, Seth? Uh, bum fights. <laughs> yeah, it's homeless fights. Bums fighting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it was just this guy that like Not used to ass. record. He used to, I think he used to pay. He used to pay homeless people to fight each other. See, there See, might be some. Fucked. That they might already, be fucked. They were yeah. already fighting. They were already throwing down. We had no say in it. They were like, it was something about somebody's wife. I don't know if one of them like beefed his wife or what the fuck was going on. <laughs> uh, but uh, but they were already fighting. We didn't just walk up, throw down a couple of hundreds, and we're like, all right, get to, get to work. <laughs> no, we, we, we didn't do that. I'm betting on the big one. But uh, one of the one of the throwdowns I witnessed this year was in a Walgreens. Uh, Hell yeah! A, a nice. girlfriend and boyfriend, or husband and wife—I couldn't tell. I didn't see rings. But they started fighting. So, like, they were they were verbally arguing very loudly, and he was just like calling her a fucking bitch and like threatening to punch her and shit. And she was doing the same Based. thing. They were both just just horrible people, and uh, they they I don't know. They just kept fighting. Whatever. Grizzy fucking went full black and just dipped. Didn't even look at it. He just, he knows. He just literally heard tussling and just left Walgreens. Just peaced out. Just gone. That's <laughs> yeah. like, all right, He's like, I know the police are going to show up. I got to get out of here. They're going to blame it on me. They're going to blame it on me. I'm going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, me and Puffer stayed. We were just chilling. 
And then they were still fighting, whatever. Not a big deal. Uh, just verbal shit. And then they get to our aisle where we're like buying water. And I was like, all right, I kind of don't want to be this close to that shit. And he just started wailing shit at her. And she just started wailing shit back. They're like throwing bags of chips and like other random things at each other. And just Man. screaming. And then, dude, it was so odd. I don't know if they're both like crazy bipolar or like what the fuck happened. And then she's just like, I'm going to buy some alcohol. He's like, yeah, okay, I'll go buy some alcohol. They just started making just went out up. No, they just, they just went up, bought alcohol calmly, and then right back to it. Just started screaming at each other again. It was just the most bizarre thing. I don't know what the fuck was going on, but yeah, that was like... They took a break to do weird. their actual shopping, and then... Just yeah, they're just like, oh, hold on, uh, actually, we're out of, like, um, I mean, grab Time out, we need uh, groceries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was odd, but that was, uh, that was really the only, the only crazy crackhead fight we had. I never see shit like that in public, dude. I'm so jealous. I really wish yeah, I could no, go to Walgreens yeah. and just see people I've throwing seen, like, down. I've seen people, like, screaming at each other, but never, like, physical... Yeah, I've seen that in Walmarts, but no, f mo no blows thrown, unfortunately. Yeah. When I, I was mean, in there New wasn't Jersey, any big tussles. Whenever I was in New Jersey, I uh, I saw a McDonald's manager like throw a hobo to the ground because he was digging through the trash. <laughs> so he threw really? him to the ground. What is, it's not like, it's was that aggressive. his trash? Did he call dibs? Like why yeah. is he so upset? <laughs> Dude, I I was so little and I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like the dude was just digging through looking for food. And the manager just fucking storms out there and grabs him and throws him like into the parking what lot. What the fuck? Yeah, it was like a bit of an overcorrection. What a yeah, that's, he was like, like "Get yeah, the like fuck why? out of here! Stop digging through the trash." Well, the only thing I can think of, he he had probably that's he, he's probably done that a million times. Yeah, he might, but still, like, what, who's that hurting? Like, I don't think yeah. anybody in there being like, "No, my garbage." Hey, buddy, <laughs> yeah. It's not hurting anybody. Oh, me garbage. Yeah, yeah well, okay. the food industry is retarded anyway with how much food that they waste. No, oh, yeah, they don't, so they don't get much food. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with that whatsoever. Like, I know, no, oh, it hurts their sales if they give the food away. But like, meanwhile, there's people starving to death. Like, what do you care more about, bitch? Some people but anyway, do that my, at the my end My dad of... went in and bought him a, a burger. Oh, that's, <laughs> oh, that's nice. nice. Based <laughs> Mr. Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> I gave a, a homeless guy an entire bag of Reese's pretzel things. I ate like one, and he's like, do you have any money? I was like, no, but I have pretzel Reese's. He's like, oh, those would be good. And I didn't want to like start handpicking them out, so I was like, fuck it, just so take good. the bag. He definitely just, just like, those, died like, of diabetes. I just ate those a few days ago. Reese's pretzels are so I mean, they, so they go good. hard, but like, I don't know if I'd want to eat a whole bag for dinner. Like, <clears throat> oh, yeah, I have done just like for a meal. <laughs> like, I also was like worried that he just did it know that they were peanut butter or something and just died like i just didn't want to come back and just see a homeless dead man this has an unknown it. peanut allergy yeah, <laughs> yeah. i was like <laughs> like grizzy brought it up originally and i was like bruh don't make me think about that that's gonna be on my conscience all day thinking about like just finding this homeless man's corpse later in the night with a bag of rhesus next to him uh, but i would have done him, him a favor it's the murder weapon <laughs> would have done him a favor that's fucked. <laughs> that was a mean There's, thing. There are said. some, there are some places that will give food to homeless people like after after hours because like, like Applebee's on a date night. Yeah, like Applebee's on a date night. Uh, from, 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 oh God, I fucking hate that song so much. But there's uh, yeah. Little Caesars uh, does, uh, does that if they have like extra hot and ready just left over by the time it's closed. Yeah. <laughs> Just, like, I mean, their shit tastes the same whether it's like a day old or ten. So really yeah. Mr. Hot and Ready. Uh -huh. <laughs> Say like Dude, you just said there. pizzas. Yeah, <laughs> is that, is that <laughs> that's what they're fucking is called. Everybody knows it. in the business. <laughs> you guys don't. I've no, never I had little called that, but like, what you're you didn't so have to trademark. Cool. You could just say like pizza. Like you didn't have to use Listen, their fucking in trade. Well, they sell in pizza biz. We call them hot and ready. <laughs> little like, Caesars they also probably weren't hot or like fully ready anymore. They're but that's what they're called. So little Cold Caesars not they, ready. Little Caesars <laughs> makes normal pizza. Cold you, can, gross. <laughs> you can go you can go to Little Caesars and get a regular pizza like you would get at Domino's where you order it and then they cook it and Shut then you up, get it. Pussy. Yeah, they got but the some, hot and uh, ready's they just make them. They make pe uh, pepperoni cheese yeah, hot. We get it, the, nasty. We get it. You're sponsored. They, they got <laughs> some. The, they got you're some, you're uh, talking to me like I'm like I'm fucking stupid. They I got some fine. cold and, and I'm not. off that's, guard pizza. That's that's what they're called. You're talking cold to me like I'm, I'm like I'm trying to create some new like phrase to use. That's what they're called. I, I have understand. Gone to, that's what they're called. It was comedic that you called them that instead of pizza. I think it's funny how offended you are about your hot ready right now. 
<laughs> that's what they're called. That's what I've it always called them. your corporate interests right now. Anytime, <laughs> anytime I went to Little Caesars as a child, I'd be like, I go there and I'd be like, yeah, give me, give me two hot and readies. Give me two hot and readies. And that's what they're fucking called. His little Caesar stock right now. He's panicking. We're about to short Little Caesars. God, you're fucking annoying. I think it's annoying when you don't just say pizza. <laughs> because I've that always called them hot and ready's. Anytime I've ever well, gone stop. to Little Caesars to get pizza, I'd be like, give me two hot and ready's. That's just everybody I've known that's gone to Little Caesars does that. If you want a hot and ready, I don't get a hot know ready. anybody that goes to Little Caesars because it's of their gross. own free will. Because if no. you walk, if you walk in and say, "Hey, give me two pizzas," they're gonna be like, "What?" They're like. What, you think this is a or? pizza place? Get the <laughs> fuck out of here! I have no idea what I want. <laughs> well, that's that's what I'm saying. If you if you walk in there and say, "Give me two pizzas," they're not going to automatically think, "Oh yeah, hamburger." Oh yeah, and let me give him the two. <laughs> let me give him the two pizzas that have been sitting there for hours. I might end up with Chinese food. I don't know. <laughs> God, you guys are fucking stupid as fuck. I didn't hey, agree to this fucking to, brand. Hey, go to Little Caesars and tell them you want pizza. They'll know what's up. They'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the fucking mascot says pizza, pizza, bitch. Yeah, he doesn't go hot and ready, hot and ready. <laughs> oh, I'm glad to be back. I cannot wait to see the fucking comment section on this part. Dude, it's not that deep. It's Why really so not. The that comment that section's gonna be I like, know. "Nothing's right, guys." It's I know people are gonna defend me because that's what it is. You guys were wrong for that. They really are cold hot ready. If you if you walk into a Taco Bell and say, "Hey, give me two burrito," they're not gonna know what the fuck you're talking about. Yes, go, they are. Give they're me, gonna give me a they're, burrito. They're, no, they're gonna, you have to ask the five, the quesarito, the fucking beefy five layer. You can't just be vague about your options. Oh, now you're a shill for Taco Bell too, okay. huh? I'm just. That's just. That's just fucking common knowledge, bro. It's not that deep. I've it was a joke. Never you go to a steakhouse and go give me steak. about anything ever. We found his soft spot. Yeah, because you guys are making fun of me over some fucking that I've been saying my entire life, and everybody around me has been saying their entire life. And you're making me seem stupid for it. You are. It was a joke, buddy. Yeah, we well, make jokes like on this joke. podcast, McNasty. Yeah, well, it's a little aggressive. You crossed the line today, form. boys. <laughs> yeah, Little Caesars is where he puts the line. And then when I try and sand. explain myself, you guys just talk over me and never let me finish I don't anything. Like, I don't like rape jokes, pedo jokes, and Little Caesar jokes, guys. <laughs> don't you fucking dare. <laughs> pedo jokes. Yeah, Peter. Jokes yeah, we don't about like Peter, Peter Griffin, Griffin jokes. No Peter Griffin jokes allowed on the podcast. Not during work hours. <sighs> that was you okay, McCasty. You look like I'm fine. I'm <laughs> fine. You're not hot and ready to fight me, are you? <laughs> yeah, actually, I am. Let's go right now. <laughs> oh, you didn't throw up in my hotel room this year. Let's go. Did you eat a bunch That's of good. chips while you were sleeping? No, I did. I roomed by myself because I didn't want to fucking. Live with a badly behaved dog again. Uh, I feel like Grizzly so. has calmed down. Oh, I could be wrong. Please calm down over I mean, the past like year or so. I mean, he's or just a, got he's, better at drinking. I I think it's that. <laughs> I definitely think it's that one. I didn't see him. He didn't get fucking sloppy, drunk at any point. He might Dude, I'm happy. I'm like generally going. happy for Grizzly for like his like the direction he's taking. Like yeah, I know. I'm so pr I groomed him so well. Yeah. I don't know why Twitter got mad at me for saying, uh, saying I groomed Grizzy. I it's did. It's like a Look positive positive grooming. He dresses really just, nice now. It, well, it's just because they only know fucking Minecraft, so they think the only grooming is when you make a... Yeah, yeah you know. I it really know. says something about them. They you groomed him in the actual real-term grooming. You, like, cut his hair and exactly. dressed him up. I and... gave him a little haircut. <laughs> I, I got all the knots out. I gave him his little shampoo down. What yeah. exactly yeah. are it's dog nice groomers, moment. then, in, according to Dream Stands? People that just fuck dogs. Just fuck that well, hell out you, of a no, dog. No, you fuck the puppies is what you do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you don't fuck the dog. Only when they're six months old. <laughs> Grooming the homeless. Sure, man. You That's all you. That market, 100% yours. That sounds like a Rage Against the Machine song. I wonder why they call, I wonder why they call the term <laughs> grooming. I wonder why they call the term like... like the term makes grooming. sense, grooming. It's like... You're, you're you're grooming them like they, that's literally the you're word dressing for it. dressing them up and putting hair like putting their hair in a bun. You know words can have two meanings, right? You do yeah, no, but I'm I'm wondering why they why that term also means trying to fuck a child. It, it's the same reason that hot and ready also means pizza. Yeah, you can understand that concept clearly. So this one should be. <laughs> 
I feel literally like fucking kill yourself. I today. guess. I guess. Literally I'm, kill yourself. I guess I'm beating a dead horse, which has two meanings. Hmm. What is the other? I meaning? guess I'm fucking my own dick sideways, which has three meanings. <laughs> does does it does it really? Yep. I don't know. I've never heard that term even normally. Oh well, it's something we say in the biz. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> What business are you in, dude? <laughs> Fucking dick aside,ways. <laughs> sounded like you just did a line of bully law after did. that. It literally just sounded like you did a line. You just said "fuck a dick sideways." When <laughs> <laughs> I ran out of oxygen and it's allergy time. That's what we do in the biz, Blar. I like how when do whenever do just has like this random energy, like days, he just uses it to bully me. You're so we're not. We're, we're joking around, McNasty. But we're not even bullying yeah, you. We're still, bullying Little still, Caesars for calling pizza hot and already. Hey, you, you guys didn't even know. You didn't even know it was a term until I brought it up. I did. What the fuck do you mean? They got a fucking sign every two seconds. Yeah, but that's what you call it, the, bro. The <laughs> arena I play hockey. We I need to phone a friend. We need called to phone Grizzly. We need to phone Grizzly. What does Grizzly call it? Little Caesars pizza. Yeah, we need to call an outside source and be like, so. "What do you when, on the phone. like when you I've when you walk into Little Caesars? What do you call the pizza that's already made and you grab it right away?" I have a pizza. Gross. Yes, it is gross. gross. Fuck Little Caesars. I'll else. never go to Little Caesars again. It's terrible. But I'm saying, <laughs> back when I care used to. So damn much. <laughs> because you guys made me feel like a retard for calling it a hot you and do ready. Do that on your own. No, I guarantee millions of people call it the same thing I, I call it. I guarantee millions of people will call wrong. you. Honestly, wrong me, nasty. honestly, billions. There's honestly, billions. you guys are probably the minority in this situation. Let's go. I'm used to that. <laughs> Doesn't mean you can say the n word oh. freely on your videos. Well, but shit. you guys are it's probably okay. Musk owns Twitter now, so I'm gonna say the n word all I want. Free it's speech, okay, guys. Elon Musk does own Twitter now. Yeah. Yep. Ooh, 43 billion. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna go on the, the I'm gonna go on the goons Twitter right now and make a poll. You're gonna okay. make a poll you're you're so upset over a joke. <laughs> I, I, right I, I wanna to I wanna <laughs> oh, yeah, I wanna be validated. Because you guys are making me feel like a fool because it's only because there's only four people in here and it's it's a three v one. It's a joke. I, I literally <laughs> never said it wasn't well hot and ready. It's just genuinely funny to see you this upset about the, the pizza name. He, he rarely gets passionate about things, but when he does, it's this. <laughs> McNasty's found his stride in life. This is what he's meant for. This is the hill he's gonna need to become on. a franchise owner. <laughs> oh. Yeah, maybe I'm, maybe I'm doing this to try and get Little Caesar to sponsor me, and I'm just like. You called their pizza you shit. Know what? You literally you agreed know what? it was gross. We are all we're all fucking verified on Twitter. Why don't we go straight to the source? How about that? Why don't we tweet at Little Caesars? Bring Do a they gun have to their headquarters. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> we're all verified Caesar. on Twitter. Let's kill them. <laughs> Do they even have a fucking Twitter? They've got to. Alright, I made the I made How about the we ask Spanish KFC what they think about this? <laughs> Spanish. Oh, they, would, like the, they would give us a straightforward answer. Mm -hmm. They would they give us a picture would. of like Shrek with Ben Shapiro's face on it, <laughs> <laughs> and like a, still, like a, in a minion that is, suit. <laughs> that is my favorite fucking minions replied to me on Twitter the other day. They did. I saw you tweeted at them. Yeah, I just or every time they tweet them. something, I just tweet some fuck to them, and they finally responded. They they actually like responded like four times. I think it was what. But, uh, Damn. Well, they, they they kept deleting it. They they didn't like the response every time. It was originally eyeball emojis, and then they just like kept trying little funny bits to see like maybe one of these will stick to the wall. And they finally landed on a mid ass reply. The others weren't it. approved by brand. Yeah. <laughs> they had to get one approved. It's <laughs> worth it. What are you? That's what, the phone okay. ringing? What is? <laughs> like a nineteen fifties phone, <laughs> the little wheel dial ones. <laughs> Sorry guys, I gotta take this. Oh, oh so spot on. It felt like something would have heard at my grandma's house. Yeah, I remember my, my grandma used to have one of those phones, and it, it like the bottom part of it like curved towards the mouth. Oh just, yeah, bro. And you had those to spin your hard. finger. You had to spin yeah. your finger to dump. My, uh, yeah, like, my grandma still has one of the little spinny ones. Really? They're kind of like collectible yeah. items, honestly. <clears throat> Yeah, whenever she calls, like whenever I call or she calls, bro, I literally I feel like I'm talking to Charlie Brown. I can't understand. Shit she still uses thing. it, really. <laughs> yeah, all the time. Holy like, shit! She's got oh like God. two house phones, one in the basement where she does like arts and crafts and shit, which is that one, and then one upstairs. Mm, but she's always crafts, doing, huh? she's always doing arts and crafts, grandma shit. I'm surprised so those still like work. Me, just, 
I mean, there's probably a bit work. of like retrofitting to make it work, but yeah, true. I mean, they, they, I'm sure they have a normal phone number. Well, yeah, there's not like anything weird about it. It's just a phone at the end of the day. You just have to spin the thing around like a fucking idiot. Dude, yeah. that's something that uh, like kids will never understand now. They won't understand landline yeah, phones to, and you cable. You have to finger your phone. Dude, I ratio direct TV on Twitter. I saw that. I was laughing very hard. What happened? I was I saw that when I was extremely drunk and it made me laugh. Were you guys Dish Network gang or Direct TV gang? I was gang? Dish Network gang growing up. Mm-hmm. I was Comcast. Okay. Lark? I didn't have satellite. Okay. <clears throat> I was a uh, Dish Network gang and I said people that grew up watching Direct TV were weird. Yeah, so. Direct TV it's like said cap to you. Yeah, they replied cap, and I said, shut your goofy ass up. <laughs> they showed direct TV itself. They just delete Twitter. <laughs> They're done. Career's over. Sales dropped to zero. No but more satellite TV. Dish Network didn't say anything, so, yeah. They know what's up. That's sad. Yeah. They know. They know their they place. Don't, they don't have to say anything. Yeah. They're the alpha. I actually really never liked a satellite, because I should just say, go out. Yeah, like, yeah if there was like a cloud that passed in front of your house, it was yeah. over. Yeah, literally. Comcast was just direct, like, cable. Yeah. Now I just oh, yeah. tweeted it. Oh, fuck old, cable. Good old I wanna, funny moments. I want to see, like, I wonder how much, like, money cable companies make now versus, like, 20 years ago. Which is I probably... Don't, I don't know. I mean, it's, I there's probably there's like, still a lot of people out there that use cable, especially yeah, like older like people. Yeah, they're all like dying off. Like, yeah, I don't have cable. I like <laughs> yeah, I, fuck I, cable. I will never have cable. So there's I don't no know. fucking I, point. It's funny because now that we can really afford cable, we don't have it. <laughs> I mean, there's just like no reason. Well, to what's have the it. price of cable? What well, like what? How much does it Usually cost? Usually like a month? 70, 80 bucks a month. Is it really that expensive? Damn! If you get like all the titty channels and stuff too, I guess. Nah, for me, because yeah. they usually, I mean, uh, growing up, it was always, you would get the TV, and then you get it bundled with, like, internet. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And it'd be, like, 130 bucks. 70 for internet, 70 for TV. <clears throat> but well, that's 65. about the same now, <laughs> if you get, like, Hulu with live TV, I think. I think it's around 80 bucks. Yeah, but why would you get live TV? I don't know. I'm just saying, if people want that. I think I had it for mm-hmm. a while, because I wanted to watch, like, some sports and shit. I, have this really, thing. I feel like that's the only reason people still even yeah, sports. get live TV sports is sport. Game, like, yeah. as soon as like but even these corporations then, like, wise up and go to YouTube and shit or whatever they're gonna do, like cable's just done. Oh yeah, cable's yeah. fucked. It literally makes no sense. Like, you just pay money to watch like eight minutes of commercials. I have this it's service. Uh, commercials. I have this service that gets me like all of the like games for like basketball, baseball, football, whatever. That's like, like 120 a, bucks a year. Xbox Game Pass? I got a, a website yes. that's free that is goes very hard. And there's a chat, and the whole chat is just violently saying slurs the entire time there's any sporting event. Yeah, but the only thing that sucks about those is when there's like a really big sporting event, it lags like crazy. Like I, a big UFC fight or something? I don't know. The one I use, I, I've never had any lag problems, but I'm not going to say the uh-huh. name because I don't really want to get in trouble, but... They go hard. You can buy them with coffee. And I've I usually just like That's if there's a payment. if there's a big UFC fight, it just it makes more sense to just like just well, buy that one fight. Yeah, like if there's something big going on, like I'll pay for it. like I pay for hockey because I just can't be fucked to go on that website every time there's a hockey game and I want to throw it on in the background. But but like if I just randomly want to watch like a football game, which is something I don't watch often, like I'm not I'm not paying for a full fucking season to watch like yeah. five games. Just makes no sense. So I still use illegal streaming for that. <laughs> Hell yeah. <sighs> hey, you're, you're under hard. arrest. You're that's fine. You're, Did you guys ever get anything in the mail from like Disney or anything? If you ever like torrented back in the day off Pirate Bay? I know somebody. Yeah, who did. from AT and T. Yeah, I got one from uh, one of my old internet providers, and they like were like, "Yeah, Disney could sue you for this." It's like, go ahead, come on over, Disney. Like, yeah, how much are they gonna take from us? Five bucks. Torrenting is free, bitch. Also, like, because of where uh, the Pirate Bay was located, there, like, it was pretty hard to actually have any any sort of implications. I think they're out of Sweden, where there's, like, no fucking copyright laws or something. I don't yeah. know if that's been updated or what, but that shit went hard. Is that is still around? Does that website I, still I think, exist? I think so, yeah. I feel like every website that's been taken down for some, like, 
illegal shit is just up there again and under some. They've rebranded. Probably like pretty alias, much. yeah. Yeah, ain't gonna stop. Yeah, Pirate Bay was the coolest because they had like verified like uploaders. Yeah, it was great. It was like such a good community. And then sometimes you'd like, I'd like it because sometimes you'd you'd go to download like an album, and they would just rip it off a CD or something. And I'd go to look at like the album cover on my phone, and it would just be like them taking a photo of the the CD cover in their yeah. like, mom's yeah. kitchen. <laughs> yeah, I remember back in the day when I was like creating my my like music library for my phones. A lot of the time, I would have to go find the album cover manually and like put it in the folder that yeah. has the music. And like yeah, it was yeah. like a whole yeah, ritual some, of of downloading it, getting bullshit. renaming it the correct name, and getting the artwork uh, for it and everything. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's there has been a few cases where like I would I would have torrented um like a song, and it would have the wrong artist. And like to this day, I would still think like, oh, this artist sings that song, and then I would find out it's somebody else. Really? I'd be like, oh yeah, because they would they would put like the it would be like a random obscure like R and B band from like the nineties, and they would just put like Michael Jackson, <laughs> and I would think that like <laughs> Michael Jackson had sung that song, oh, and it was not. This one a banger from MJ. <laughs> People did that shit with Metallica. Like I, there was one like song I found that was like unreleased Metallica song, never before heard, and I was like, holy <laughs> shit, what is this? And it sounded like. It was close enough to where it could fool you, you know? And I was like, who yeah. the fuck is this? Like, because I was reading comments, like, this is not Metallica. And I was like, who the fuck are these guys? Did you ever but, find uh, out, like, who it actually was? Yeah, uh, it was called... Uh, I can't fucking remember. Slackjaw? The band... <laughs> yeah, Slackjaw. <laughs> the band name was, like, Evil or Evile or something like that. Uh-huh. But, uh, yeah. I remember I, mean, I, that- I downloaded a, a, Dis- a Disturbed song, and... It, like during like a, a like silent part in the song, the guy that I guess illegally was recording it, he coughed or sneezed or something like that. <laughs> oh yeah, and I remember I, you told me that. <laughs> yeah, I listened to it for so long that way that when I heard the actual song, I was like, "What the fuck? Why the is there not a cough? <laughs> There's a sneeze." <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. And that yeah. that like mislabeling still fucking happens. I remember uh, when Juice World was first like popping off. Uh, I remember there'd be like things of like Post Malone unreleased song, and it'd just be like a Juice World song. Oh they sound similar. yeah, well that's like, probably good for would... some artist. Yeah, but I mean also bad for others. Yeah. So I don't I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't really want to be like Post Malone and have somebody else have a song, you know, and everyone's saying it's you. Just kind of weird. Maybe yeah. we should all just mislabel our board. songs. That would be a good idea. You guys should do that. New Slackjaw song and just put like Ariana Grande unreleased track. <laughs> <laughs> she's just I'm sure her stands her would love that. <laughs> it's just a song from the Hannah Montana show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should do that. That'd be hilarious. Was she on the Hannah Montana Do you think you guys are ever going to write like a funny song? No. Mm, I kind of want to do that. I was thinking about Why? making a song where like, like I was thinking about making an album that's just not a serious album. And just doing like weird shit. Like there was one I wanted to do where like the song would start and it would be the ringtone from the Samsung dryer when it's done. And then after that, just like brutal, like s- slam metal. What does the Samsung dryer sound like? Yeah, he knows. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I mean, I make funny music, but I just do it under soup. Yeah. Like whenever I do oh, the yeah. rap I literally shit. have Gucci belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I just, yeah. I don't know. Pack ever... of fat shit, fucking yeah. your shit. I don't know how it goes. Yeah, I would just do it under my own name. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't do it under my band. You know who yeah, actually has true. a fucking hilarious song somewhere on their hard drive? Wildcat. There was a whole song him and one of his friends wrote while they were drunk about fucking a grandma or something. Oh. And I don't know if they ever put it anywhere, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna leak much about it. But bro, it was so fucking funny. Post the uh, song, leak yeah, it. No, t- no, you know what? Do not go tweeting to him to leak it. No, I'm gonna get in that, trouble. Do that, do that. Uh, what is what is Hotel Boys 22? Bro, oh my god, I forgot about that. I was so fucking drunk. Okay, so we it was a it was the last night, and we were trying to figure out what to do because like uh, Keller, who's uh, who does a lot of like filming and stuff like that for Wildcat isn't 21. Uh, so we couldn't get him into bars and shit. So we we're just like trying to figure out what the fuck to do. Cause we were just like walking around. We stopped back at our hotel 
to try to think of something and there was only like a limited amount of seating so droid went and sat on the actual like computer chair and there's this fucking old ass mac there and uh smitty like jokingly was like droid you gonna you gonna stream and droid's like hey yo i'm gonna try it and he fucking was like trying to figure stuff out and the computer was not meant to stream on. Like, they had everything blocked. You couldn't sign into Twitch or, like, anything. Really? So we downloaded we downloaded OBS, and it wouldn't let you make an email on that computer or anything. So we couldn't even make a new Twitch account or sign into his to get his streaming key. So I was like, try one of those, uh, like, temporary email sites. And that worked. So we got an email, made a username. Like, we just randomly picked one just for, like, Hotel Voice 22. Fuck it. Um, did that, and then... We couldn't go live from Twitch itself. So I was like, try signing in to OBS on Twitch and see if that works. And he did, and it actually fucking worked and went live. <laughs> so we were, there was like 20 of us in the hotel, absolutely plastered, uh, streaming from one little tiny setup. And it was fucking hilarious because we just did not expect it to work. It was like, it kept being a joke. And every step was like a joke where we'd be like, yeah, okay, just try this like as a meme. And then it actually just kept getting closer to working, and we're like, "Hold on, we might actually be able to fucking do this." So yeah, we that's uh, awesome. We streamed, and it was it was actually funny as fuck. There's so many good memes. I like bass boosted the shit out of the audio, and then we mm. uh, we we came up with a password. We're like, "All right, we're gonna give away this this Twitch account because none of us are gonna stream from it again." Uh, so we like put the password up on stream, and had all the viewers that were in there we were like we we streamed in rocket league and we were the second most viewed rocket league stream <laughs> rocket league we had category. like yeah we had like 970 viewers or something like that so <laughs> fucking every pro rocket league player just punch in air that they went from second to like all the way down but uh yeah we just streamed and we put the password up on stream to see like who would get it first and when they kicked us off and somebody eventually got it and uh yeah, y'all should do that every fun. year, like under a different alias. Yeah, we want it. Like we want to do Hotel Boys 23 next year. But <laughs> at the same time, what made it so fucking funny is that none of us thought it would work. So like when it did actually work, like we were all fucking freaking out, and, like going crazy because we actually were fucking live. So I don't know <laughs> if it would like have the same, the same effect if we like planned one, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so like that's an improv, what we were like. improv kind yeah, of meme. Yeah, yeah, literally. And then, yeah, we were all just fucking drunk as shit doing that, which made it even more fun. So, yeah, that was a uh, that was stupid as hell. But the guy has the account. I don't know if he's 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 streamed a couple times. I don't know if what he's gonna do with it, but the account's all his. You so. just you just started a whole career for a dude. That's what we want. We want like <laughs> we were hoping like this guy would actually fucking start streaming on it. Yeah. And it's like we bump into him at a convention. <laughs> and like hotel boy and he's got would like Yeezys there. on and like, off white and yeah, hella rich. Just drip the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> just the hotel boy was there. Started investing in stock, became like a multi millionaire fucking crypto bro. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. That was fun. That was, that was funny. And I'm glad. I'm glad somebody actually got the account. I hope. I just hope they stream on it. Because if they don't, that yeah. would suck. Because there was people like like actually going fucking ham trying to get it like there was people that were ready to ditch their main twitch account to stream on hotel boys the rest of their career so it was funny but yeah that's that's what that was a random live stream with like 12 of us hell yeah 1 a.m while being drunk in boston in our hotel lobby the like the the lobby of that hotel is tiny too so like <laughs> Did anybody course. like walk by like any so random many people? people. <laughs> like you could see the elevators from where we were streaming. So people were like coming in in the ele elevators, just seeing <laughs> all of us surrounding this little computer. Like what the fuck? They're just screaming because we we're drunk and they're just not knowing what's happening. Like we could have just been watching like live leak beheadings and they just would have had no idea. <laughs> but uh, that's yeah, fucking that was, awesome. That was, that was super that's fun. Sick. How come we didn't go to Pack Soup? Uh, my band had a show. We uh, played oh, in the parking lot. Oh, that's right. Lot. You guys, yeah. How was that? I Did you already talk about it? I don't want to... Yeah, I talked about it. it a little bit in the last podcast, but uh, yeah, I, I burned a dude's arm with a cigarette. Oh, that's uh, that's 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 weird. That's that's really weird. Yeah, he uh, he wanted me to. He was like, okay, can you please well, burn means... my arm with a cigarette? And I was like, are, are you sure you want me to do that? And he was like, oh, he, d he didn't want you to do it. You just went to town on him anyway. He said, please, anything but that. <laughs> Soup, he had you? someone else that had done it on him as well. That's so weird. You smoke cigarettes, Sue? 
Uh, I used to, but I don't anymore. Are you, do you ever like smoke one when you're drunk? Uh, I haven't in probably like three or four years. Do you? Uh, no, I haven't smoked in probably like since I was like 22 or something. Yeah, I used to yeah, have that a jewel. smell makes me want to gag. I that, that smell actually drives me Oh, no, insane. I fucking hate it. I remember the like a couple years ago when I lived with my cousin. He was like, just he kept trying to get me to take a drag because he just wanted to see it because he knows I don't smoke. And I was like, I'll take one drag, and I drag, and I fucking immediately just started coughing. I was like, fuck this. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's just terrible. Nasty. It's so odd because like people that actively smoke love the smell. But oh, then, no, like, the smell, the taste, that, the rea- relaxation people, and shit. People that quit after, they just hate the smell. They think it's like the nastiest thing in the world. It's so weird yeah. how that happens, like just because you're so fucking addicted to something. <clears throat> yeah, whenever I, I smell cigarette smoke, I kind of like, I have to like, I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like I, I have to like swallow my spit or something. Like when yeah, I smell smells, that smell. It smells disgusting. Yeah. It kind of like, it makes smell. me like, like it catches my throat or my no- like sinuses the wrong way and I like, <laughs> I have to like swallow Saliva. I don't know. It's weird. I think I mean, they say secondhand sense. smoke is worse for you than actually smoking really? too. Yeah, I've heard yeah I'm pretty too. sure. How the fuck would that? I mean, I, know it I guess because you're not getting the, you're not getting the filter. I guess if you're well, just I think it's because smoke. you're not used to it. Like people that smoke all the time, you know, their body's used to it. So you're just yeah, that's true. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It could be. I don't know that or like because they're dragging. Like when you actually smoke a cigarette, obviously you drag through the filter rather than just like getting straight up cigarette smoke. I'm gonna so end up that well, yeah, but if it's being then. filtered, if it's being filtered in your lungs, it's not going to be unfiltered when it comes out. It's already filtered. Oh, you're talking about secondhand about smoke just, from the end, yeah, at the end of like the, the cigarette. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just the not, cigarette. Oh, not someone okay. blowing in your face. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you no, still yeah, vape? I don't know. Nasty. Uh, no. Every once in a while, like if I get drunk, I'll I'll take my vape out, but it just sits there. <laughs> It like kept I did me it from I, biting my mouth. I had like the zero nick one, and I liked it for that. But then I was like, I don't really want to get popcorn lung over like, uh, you know, just trying to break a bad habit of biting my mouth. You don't get that anymore. What popcorn lung? Popcorn lung was a thing uh, because they used to use the same thing that they used to put in in popcorn butter. They they would put in like e cigs when e cigs first started becoming popular. What is popcorn but really? lung? Uh, I don't actually. I I thought it was an actual infection that looked like popcorn. Like it made your little. What are the little balls called in your lung? The polyps or something? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think they are polyps. Like yeah, Air I thought it made those like burst like and look like popcorn. That's why I thought it was. I didn't realize it was actually something popcorn related. I know nothing um, about it. I just knew yeah. That's it was why they called it that. And I was like, because oh, nah. The uh, the workers that would work in a popcorn factory would breathe that shit in all day, and it would give them popcorn lung. That's what it's called. That. Oh, huh. And the, the, the one of the ingredients in that butter they would put in the e-cigs, and then after they realized that that's what caused popcorn lung, they stopped putting in that. So it's literally the only thing that they put in vapes now is propylene glycol, which is like in food. Like isn't you that, eat propylene glycol all the time. I think, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, and the other ingredient is, which sounds bad, but it's not really that bad, is the same ingredient they use to make like fog machines. Like the fog in fog machines. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember what it's called. Blowing them back clouds. But you can breathe that in. Like you, like fog machines are not toxic to people. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna kill you. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I just like there's just not enough payoff for somebody who doesn't smoke to ever vape. There's just no reason no. to do it. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. But I mean, it's definitely better than a fucking cigarette. So. Oh, 100 like, percent. Cigarette has like, a thousand fucking ingredients quit. in it. Yeah, people that use them as a tool to quit, like that shit. That shit makes sense. Pipe yeah. tobacco is nice. Like I smoking, just, smoking. I don't out like of pipe. that. Like the. I like, feel like that would just look like it's too I, hard. I, I would feel like a boss. I feel like I just feel like this <laughs> like old, a villain. <laughs> yeah, just in a big leather chair, slowly. Yeah, it just, it just makes you want to say like Batman. Mm-hmm, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have to be like uppity and whenever dubiously. you smoke tobacco. <laughs> the taste like, is so fucking good. Like really? I had. There's no. Shit it is really good. Ever. I it remember like I did s'mores. it a while back, and it's a little bit of a pain in the ass to do it because you may have to make sure you have to like pat it down a bunch and then get the yeah, ember like in the middle it. burning, and yeah. yeah, you can clog it. Yeah, and it's just kind of annoying. You would think you would just drip like it in there and smoke it like a bong. You know, like when you smoke a bong, you just crush up weed, and put it in, and you smoke it. Yeah. Like with that, you have to make sure the ember is burning, and yeah, it's all this kind of fucking shit. I mean, and you have like a bunch like of little cigars. Tools. Cigars are a lot of fucking yeah work to actually mm-hmm. smoke like properly, but. I don't yeah, know, you, you can send Poppy Rick and, and tell us about that it. one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah I got to meet up with Send Poppy Rick, by the way. Hell yeah. How was that? How was that? Got to, got to meet him. Uh, super nice dude. I didn't really, I like, 
I kind of recognized him at first. I was like, like, why, where do I know this guy from? And he's like, yo, it's me. And like, right when he talked, I was like, no fucking shit. And then gave him a big old hug. And then he's just like, he was chatting with me, dude. He's so nice. He was like, just talking to me, telling us about like all the shit that we and like everyone else that he made uh, videos of, like what we did for his career and stuff. And he showed me his wedding ring and was like, yeah, this is like, like, cause of you guys, you know, Aww. I could do this. Otherwise I would have had to wait That's like nice. five more years. And it's just like, yeah, he's such a genuinely nice dude. So it was super cool to actually meet him. We've known him for, fuck, probably. He's been making videos about us for, like, what, three years, probably? Yeah. Uh, since, yeah. like, the glory days of Siege, yeah. Yeah. So it was super nice to meet him, and, yeah, really good dude. Didn't didn't get to have a drink with him or anything, which kind of sucks, but uh, hopefully next time. But, yeah, really nice guy. That's fucking definitely awesome. Glad, uh, definitely glad he's the one that popped off making videos about us. He so. deserves it. Yeah, for real. I'm glad that we, yeah, like, really we're kind of a group that's not really, like, douchey about stuff like that. I like that we're kind of, like, willing to... If he was a douche, I'd be a douche about it. Like if he was yeah, like, true. that's what that's what him and I were talking about for so long because he's just like, I don't know. He was just surprised that we were so chill about it, and we're just like, well, we talked about it. And as long as you're not taking like fucked sponsors or doing stuff with our content, like pretending it's yours and stuff. But he literally started every video with, "This is McNasty's footage, or this is right. Warwick's footage, or whoever. Uh, go sub to their channel. This is their content. I'm just mixing it up as like a fan." And yeah, he never like took credit. He never did anything crazy. He didn't monetize it in any like irresponsible ways that we wouldn't allow him to do. So mm -hmm. that's I feel like that's why we all liked him. That is the way to do it. Because yeah, if he was taking if he was taking ads for like thousands of dollars a month, <laughs> yeah, like, like yeah. no, sorry, brother. you're <laughs> not like you're thirty thousand dollar raid ads yeah, for like yeah, you're not you're not soup, throwing a fucking twelve thousand dollar raid ad on our content. This content that's not mine is sponsored by Raid. Yeah, so yeah, you there's never, a lot you never of people that, that do shit. that too. I know it's it's gross. Yeah, there's a whole like, like Twitch highlight community that does shit like that. He had brands stuff, yeah. approach him. Is what he was saying? Like he would have brands that would approach him and be like, "Hey, can you throw this on like one of those videos about those guys?" And he'd always be like, "Yeah, absolutely not." Have you seen so some of those that's cool. those meme channels that that just basically <laughs> compile Twitch clips and they'll do sponsorships and they don't even speak in their own sponsorships. They do text to speech. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ugh, that's so weird. It's like the the lowest the bar could possibly get for a sponsorship. Not your content, wonder, not your voice. It's like you don't exist. If, wonder, if, like, if somebody so started doing that, I think I would start suing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I would, yeah, because if they're, especially like some of those Twitch clip channels, they get 10 million views. I can't imagine how much their sponsors are paying them. I don't, they I'm might like, be getting ripped you, off, dude. though. They, I mean, not ripped off because they shouldn't be getting any money in the first place, <clears> but I can't <throat> imagine those are like prime sponsor payments like i yeah. imagine they probably pay like one like fifth like if they're using our content they probably get paid like one fifth what we do for the same yeah. amount of views because it's not actually you know like this genuine views. Endor endorsing anything it's just this random fucking guy on the internet who knows how to hit control s on the clip like his his, his opinion means nothing so yeah yeah i can't imagine they're getting juicy checks yeah. from those but but More regardless shot. that's stupid that they're monetizing that shit in that way just take your ad rev, bro. You're literally getting free money. Yep. Like, as long as you're actually changing up the videos a little bit and watching multiple streams and stuff and not just re-uploading, then, like, just take your ad rev. Yeah. It's easy. Should be more than enough to make a good living. Yeah, especially with the views they get. And it's fucking yeah. easy content, too. All you do is just save shit and put it together. Yeah, I don't know. Speaking it's like making a best of video. Speaking? Speaking of revenue, give us some and use code GOONS, baby. Code GOONS, oh, baby. Oh, give us yeah. money. Yeah. Mostly us, though. Yeah. Yeah. Code B. G subs. G code B. Subs. Code GOONS on G subs. Link in description. Were we actually supposed to talk about something else for G subs today or no? Uh, um, no. <laughs> yeah, that it sure? kills you. <laughs> yeah. They, it'll kill you. Yeah, that if you th throw it in a cat's eyes, it blinds it. <laughs> They're just gonna sue us for their. For it'll kill you with flavor. Thing. I want to rip guys, out the I, turd line of a shrimp and fill in that line with gamer subs, and then just eat the shrimp. Have you guys? I'm gonna I'm gonna segue out of that. Have you guys watched any of the uh, trial between? Uh, yeah. Oh Death yeah. And, uh, yeah. Amber Heard. Bro, that shit's so fucking hamburger. Goofy. Oh, Amber Heard. That's uh, a hamburger. Yeah. Mean... Johnny Depp in a hamburger defamation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, McDonald's made the Johnny Depp burger without telling him. 
Yes. <laughs> just suing. one hamburger on trial. The defamation penalty. That's pretty much what Amber Heard's fucking personality is. Just a hamburger sitting there. Yeah. Pretty much. Did you see Dude, her? She is just evil. Did you see her lawyer object to his own object question? himself? Uh, that, when that's he pretty much the only thing I've seen. When he, when he didn't like shit. the answer because he was like, oh, fuck, I actually shouldn't have. You could tell he was hoping for one response. Like, you know when you go to, like, line up a joke? Yeah. Where you're just like, uh, hey, why did the chicken cross the road? And they're like, I don't know, it was light was green. And they just like ruin your joke. <laughs> like it's yeah. like it's like that. Where he was like, Okay, he's gonna say this and I'm hit him with that. It's gonna be big. And then he just immediately had an answer that he wasn't ready for. And it was just so fucking funny. It I'm almost, watching a bit of clips of it, and it's just I love his reactions. Like Johnny Depp's reactions to Oh, uh, he's like funny. He's like yeah, yeah. yeah. Quirky random little he's guy. He's making the jury in like the courtroom like <laughs> laugh and shit at, yeah. at the <sighs> ridiculousness of the, the lawyers. It yeah, almost seems like the lawyers oh, sorry, go ahead, McNessie. It almost seems like the lawyers are fans of him and they're like nervous around him. They're like throwing like, the just, case or something. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh my god, I loved your work and like I mean, there's uh, no know, way anyone was a fan the Caribbean. of Amber Heard. What was she yeah, doing? No. Aquaman? What is she even fucking I don't even know who she, she is. What if her lawyer was being like a double agent? What if he was yeah. doing all this shit on purpose? Yeah, he's <laughs> throwing. He's, he's, like throwing. he's swapping uh. sides. Also, I got beef with Amber Heard because I shat on a mattress first and that bitch trying to take my thunder. <laughs> <laughs> so get, fucking... get in line, bitch. <laughs> Did you? Dude, bro, Dude, I think you need to go big, to court. <laughs> she got big logs. They were like, because she tried to blame it on a dog. And then Johnny Depp was like, they were four pounds each in weight. Bro, she was shitting. Yeah, yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for Four the goons pounds? versus Amber Heard lawsuit. <laughs> and you guys all come to my testimony like, yeah, he really shit. No, he shit in yeah, 2015. No, he did shit on his bed. He did yeah, it. Yeah, he definitely, he has skid marks. Can't confirm. <laughs> They're still there. Just look at his bed. Yeah. yeah. The Even evidence has wins. not been tampered with whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. Even if she somehow wins this defamation case, like the countersuit, because I think he's suing her for 50 million and then she's countersuing for 100 mil. Uh, even if she loses that, she is like fucked out of rules because she is just the oh, like, yeah. court of public opinion towards right. her has just dropped to zero after this. So, Pretty much, yeah. I also feel like a lot of people don't understand how court works and they think like if she loses it, she's going to jail. This is literally just like a private defamation thing, it has nothing to do with like criminal activity. Right. She just repaints. Have so, you guys ever is... done jury duty? No. No, we don't. Thank I don't God. know if we even have that in Canada. I have no idea. I've never. I got it one time and I kept I kept calling them to like push it back to like reschedule and then after like the fifth time they were like oh you don't have to come anymore. Oh they gave up on you. Yeah. <laughs> said, Fuck it, he's not coming. That's in. a good way you to do it. Failed the system. <laughs> well, I'm assuming can, they probably you can get arrested for not uh, showing up. I'm pretty sure. Oh really? yeah, if you if you yeah if you don't if you don't reschedule and you just like don't show so up. So either way, yeah. you're going to court whether you like to or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty, pretty much. much. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know anybody that has gone to jury duty in Canada. It might be a thing. I might have just never got selected somehow. I might have got RNG. I don't know. Well, it's probably just because you're so fucking attractive. You are a hot man. You you have said that multiple times lately. Are we all right? Are we are we gonna? You're fuck? hot. Are we a yeah. thing? <laughs> are we? Are we I have I am so comfortable guns? in my own sexuality that I can call other men hot regularly. I mean, yeah, that's. I feel like most men that aren't weird should be able to do that. Yeah. I think it's more weird to not be able to call the homies hot and be like, damn. Like, I'd pound Grizzy. I'd absolutely yeah, tip fuck his gritties. I would submit to Grizzy anytime. Grizzy, <laughs> Grizzy is hot. You know, it's like it's like if Grizzy, like, I feel like it's the way he's, the way he dresses now that makes him attractive. Like, if he still uh, wore, like, Tim's and big old giant fucking, like, well, I mean, rock that's aware just jeans. Well, that's because he was insecure as fuck before. <laughs> yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah, it's more true. the confidence than anything. I mean... Yeah, you could put a clan robe on him and he'd probably look look good now. So just, you know, <laughs> he definitely he's, he's, he's got the confidence. He's got the smile. smile and shit. Yeah. His hair right now frames his face well. He's just a good looking dude. Yeah, he's always been. He just carried himself like a little fucking shrimp ass weirdo. And he got a big old ape. Imagine Grizzly yeah, on like older. fucking Men's Fashion magazine and a fucking <clears throat> clan outfit. GQ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know that. Sometimes, sometimes like runway men wear weird fucking shit. Well, yeah, I mean, like a burlap runway, sack. Runway stuff isn't supposed to actually be what you wear. They're just trying to cram as much product as possible into a human being. Yeah, like motherfuckers that see stuff on the runway are like, bro, who gonna wear this? Like, you you grab one piece out of there, you grab like a shoe off that thing. I remember I saw one one time, and it was it was a guy. He was just in his boxers, 
and all he had on were just sleeves and like <laughs> pants, pants that were just the shin. Like just yeah, shins, fashion. shin pants. That's fashion, that. bro. You need to learn about fashion. Everybody in Missouri's <laughs> wearing that, dog. If you want to see some funny sleeves. ass ones, look at Montclair Runway. Montclair does weird shit with like jackets that make them look like like grasshoppers and shit. Really? Montclair has very bizarre runway stuff. But I mean, you gotta remember, everybody that's in the fashion industry is is pretty much stupid. like a weirdo. Like they're just like oh, yeah. stupid. But they're they're, um, they're just weirdos. They're artsy little weirdos. Yeah. Just be doing artsy little weird. I don't shit. get the point of it though, because it's like <laughs> everyone who wears the... clothes, they're just artsy little weirdos. <laughs> be a nudist. I don't get the point of it though. It's like why go to the show? Like they're not making. How are they making money? Like they're not selling the clothes that the runway people because are wearing. Because McNasty, there's not, retards they... in the world that see what you saw and they're like a million dollars right there. Well, yeah, I'm gonna buy that and wear like it. Modern yeah, art, true. like you go and see. I saw this TikTok of this dude who was making a painting with a marker in his hand, and he was jumping on a tramp. He, so he ran straight forward, jumped on a trampoline, and made art, like arcs, in the air. And people were going to buy that painting from him when he was done. He did it like 30 times, and that was his painting. Mm -hmm. and, that kind of hard. And people sat there and were like, oh, you know, a million dollars. Oh, yeah, that's really well, he talks about today's of, society. Most of modern <laughs> art is, is money laundering. Like, straight can, up money laundering. I can laundering. see that. That makes perfect like, sense. They Usually, like, the, the person who... Uh, decides how much the art is worth is a homie of the person buying the art and the person who makes the art. So they're like, okay, we'll we'll say it's worth this if I get a little cut, and then you get to do a tax write off because you're donating this art to a charity or something, an auction. Yeah, I have and heard yeah, about like, that. Most of modern art is just straight up tax evasion. So mm -hmm. Mm, maybe we need to start getting. Yeah, I'm gonna start buying just. Yeah, that's why I, I bought a bunch of Cryos <laughs> paintings. I just plan to do that with them. <laughs> We're does all about to buy a bunch of easels. Uh, he doesn't publicly sell them, but like if if you're one of the one of the boys, like I just I want to buy one. Said send me one, or I'm gonna kill your family. And he just said okay, and then he sent me like yeah. I don't know a bunch to pick through, and I just picked a couple. And yeah, I love the art he's making. Yeah, his his style is really cool. And if he somehow pops off and like dies, I got some of his early art. So thanks, John. <laughs> you got one of the OGs. <laughs> I got one of the OGs, so I'll be rich. So shout out, John. <laughs> It's like what you say when you have like a rich grandpa. Like, oh, if they die someday, I'm gonna get their money. <laughs> Dude, my grandpa is dead, bro. I'm gonna get like three Cheeto shells. Uh. <laughs> Cheeto shells. Hey, what is a Cheeto we shell? <laughs> <laughs> just like if you leave it out and it just dries up, and it's like this little crusty ball of Cheeto. <laughs> a little roach broke into it and <laughs> ate all the innards. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out, grandpa, and his little Cheeto shells. You a real All right, how long have we been going? Are we going to do a soup sponsored thing? Yeah. yeah. I mean, are we going to uh, do this fun it? recording? Before we end, uh, <laughs> so you know, McNasty, it's split pretty much down the middle on hot and ready and pizza. Yeah, no, so fuck you. Eat a literal turd from my grandma's <laughs> corpse. Oh, wait, hold on. I want to see this. It's like 5248 or something. But still, that's 50% of people who call it a hot and ready. A hot and ready I'm not is the, winning, unfortunately. I'm not the only well, person in the world that calls it a hot you, and ready. You worded it. Kind of, you you, you kind of you were a little much, biased in your wording. You pretty much said ninety nine out of a hundred people would say hot and ready. It looks like yeah. you were wrong about that one, CNN. Well, it's just because literally everybody I've known who, who wants to go to Little Caesars to get a five dollar pizza, you walk in, you All say, right, "Give me a couple of hot and ready." <laughs> Maybe that's why it's because I was always taught to say that. Did your parents yeah, sit you down my, uh, and say, hey, "Listen, my, my neighbor <laughs> could you go to, up and go to Little Caesars." <laughs> my neighbor could go to Little Caesars and just gay, gay, give me a five dollar pizza. Gay, I, gay, I, gay. I wouldn't know. Gay, gay, gay. gay. He could They're go just to Little gay Caesars and be gay. He just Little Caesars and fuck out. Yeah, suck off the manager for a five dollar pizza for a hot and ready. Low job, low job. Even you just <laughs> said pizza just then. <laughs> 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 why are you so upset? Not I mean, because I have to shit. I have to shit, and that's why I'm pissed. Okay, well then let's go shit, and then. Where? Rule. Why does nobody ever get shitted off? Why are we always pissed off? I want to get shitted off. <laughs> I, don't know. Yeah, I never thought about that. Pissed You're really off. shitting me off right now, McNasty, with all this little Caesars talk. Let's start. Let's it, get that trending. Why is it an angry term? Pissed off. Like, oh, I'm pissed. I know. I'm usually. Did you piss your pants? Getting peed on. Yeah. So angry, you just pissed your little I am pants. The world's toilet. Guys, shut up! You're shitting me off right now. I just—it sounds like I'm performing a sexual act on you. Okay, I'm gonna shit you off, babe. 
just reach into my ass and pull out a turd. Yeah, Use your fucking conjuring powers to jerk me off with one of your turds. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's end the podcast now, please. Do the outro. Nasty, do the outro. Uh, uh, McNasty? Yeah. I don't like change. Uh, like and subscribe on YouTube. Go get yourself a hot and ready. No, no. Use code goons. Gamerceptor.gg.gg.gg. <laughs> Be sure to download the podcast on Spotify. <laughs> I think we I think we might have passed Coco Melon. Let's little go, fucking bitches, little fucking That's pussy you. fuckers. Download, download Fuck Coco Spotify. Melon. They've been shitting us off forever. Love yeah, them. let's go shit on Coco Melon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's well, I mean they're children. What? All right, bye. Have we been warring with kids this whole time? I never knew that. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>